It's Ra Ra here for TBFM on day three of Download Festival and I'm with the guys from Ashes to Angels. Do you want to introduce yourselves to our listeners? Hello, my name is Krilly. <laughs> my name is Jim, I play the drums. Chris, bass. I'm Josh, play guitar. Uh, Nikki, synths. There we go. Now we've got, we know what everybody's doing. Yeah, they've picked their roles for the day. <laughs> <laughs> do, you ch- do you swap and change every now and then? I have this reoccurring stress dream whenever I'm stressed about anything in my life that we're playing our first festival and that the band have decided to switch instruments on the day without telling me. And now we're here. So you're sat there behind a trumpet like, I don't know what I'm doing. One time it was Zac Efron. <laughs> so it's just, he was just sat down with us and Jim was like, oh, I'm teaching him. Oh, of so, course. That really happened. It was terrible. <laughs> A good looking lad though. So very, very mind. lovely looking lad. Um, so you just released, well, your most recent album, not just released, it was back in October 2014, am I right? No. Horror Cult? No, I'm completely no. wrong. We've done one since then, but you we... You have? Yeah, we, don't, we can't tread water, I get too bored. Okay. Yeah, no, we did an album and put it out about two months ago. Okay, and how's that gone for you? Pretty good. Yeah? Yeah. Can you tell us a bit more about the album? Yes, it's called How To Bleed. Uh, it's 12 tracks long. There was only one song over four minutes. <laughs> <laughs> And, uh, yeah. Not too proggy then. Uh, <laughs> we can press it down. Yeah, and you've played, um, well, you played the, well, no, you're playing the Dog's Tooth stage later on. Yeah. You looking forward to it? So much, like, terrified, but uh, so excited. Have you done Download before? No. No. So, what is Download to you? Uh, you know, have you come as a punter or? My first Download was 10 years ago, I came to Guns N' Roses, <laughs> ended up seeing Aiden. <laughs> who now will like produce our album so oh, it's funny how it all works cool. out and I've always like I want to play I want to play and now we're here I just don't know what to do with myself <laughs> some of them have never even been to any yeah, festival it's my first major festival ever fair enough so. fair okay. enough you're enjoying the mud then you've been like oh, yeah. thrown in the deep end I didn't have my wellies until yesterday so my only pair of shoes are now non-existent Oh no, have you managed to catch any bands this weekend? Any highlights for you at all? Stein killed it. Oh my. <laughs> oh my. No effects were absolutely exceptional. Yeah. Yeah, there have been some great bands this weekend. So know, good. Baby Metal just take everything. I've never, I, I didn't think I'd ever see three girls of that size manage to make thousands of burly men with beards <laughs> circle pit that size. <laughs> Impressive. People are very strange. I can't believe they weren't washed away, though. I know. I think they had to go on late because health and safety wouldn't let them go on in the rain as it was. It was a bit nasty. So where are you after download, then? London. London. On uh, Wednesday, we're playing with Slaves. Yes. Uh, So we're going to hopefully show them a good time. Yep. Um, Not too good. Like the right amount of time. (laughs) The sensible amount of fun. Yeah, I want to get it exactly right. (laughs) And after that, are you on tour? Are you writing? What's next for the band? I don't really know. We're kind of like, we want to get this done. Yeah. And then actually have a plan for the next bit. Because it's always just been me like, let's do this, let's do this now. We just (laughs) come off a headline run. And before that, we did like three months in the States and then a month over here. So we just have to make sure the next thing we do makes a bit of sense. Yeah. Because otherwise you suddenly run out of album or you're like, oh God, we've put out 12 singles. What do we do now? Yeah, now what do we do? <laughs> and the plan is break up and come back record. Oh yeah. Yeah, we don't take our Just time over anything though. Years. So. <laughs> oh, three years, like a week. <laughs> um, and what are you doing with regards to like, what, what would you say has been your best gig to date? Dare I ask? Uh, the final Aiden shows in yeah. London sold out Underworld and also no one wanted to touch the tour with a stick so I booked it myself because I was like, I know this is going to be fucking amazing <laughs> and sold out the Underworld independently nice. had to add more nice. circle pit around the fucking putt pillar in the middle. So Underworld's pretty good. It was incredible. Yeah. yeah. It's a good yeah, venue to play. Sold out Underworld, biggest one I've played at least. Yeah. yeah, up till today, I think. Yeah, yeah maybe. <laughs> He's pretty new. Like. No pressure, but... I only joined in October, so all of this is just like... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> How's it been since you joined? Oh, it's, it's been great. I, I couldn't have asked for a better group of people to play music with, to be honest. Obviously, you're not going to turn around an interview and be like, I hate them all. <laughs> I don't like that one. It's th- that one. Let's do this. <laughs> I, I Look at him, you've made him so sad. <laughs> this is what happens. That's why they can't have the mic. They're, yeah. they're just bicker. <laughs> well, thank you very much for chatting with us. Thank you um, for we look us. forward to hearing some new stuff from you, seeing you whenever you are out in the, well, London and we'll be maybe up in the Midlands at some point. Love the Midlands. <laughs> (laughs) Thank you very much for chatting with us. Thank you very much.